South Korea says it'll work to rebuild Yongpyeong Island, shattered after a North Korean attack last month. The government has promised 30 billion won, the equivalent of 27 million U.S. dollars, for repair, replacement, and modernization. In Seoul, President Lee Myung Bak was chairing a cabinet meeting Tuesday. He's been under fire for a military response to the bombardment dismissed as too slow and too weak. In comments posted on his presidential website, Lee promised to turn five islands along the tense border with North Korea into military fortresses with jobs for permanent civilian communities. But even though hundreds have been living in a public bathhouse converted into a refugee center at Incheon Port, many have said in emotional interviews they don't know whether they want to return to their villages. An international prosecutor has opened a preliminary investigation into whether the shelling of Yongpyeong and the sinking of a South Korean Navy ship back in March constitute war crimes. And with military drills continuing and diplomacy failing to yield breakthroughs and more demonstrators burning North Korean flags out on the streets in South Korea's capital, tension in the region was still running high. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.